performed with Vicky Rockford. And if you know that, please welcome this evening's Master of Ceremonies, Nachum Siegel. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Precious Moments. If you take a moment to look around you, you'll see what a very precious audience we have tonight. Joining the friends and family of the Jewish Hospice of Greater New York for an incredible evening of entertainment. Each and every member of our audience today has helped make this evening so very precious. And for that, we thank you. As the evening progresses, we will share with you some of the different programs the Jewish Hospice of Greater New York has provided the community with over the years. For now, though, we will go right to the music. Our first performer is no newcomer to the world of Jewish music. He has performed on countless albums and is world-renowned for his incredible talent and musical charisma. Of course, I speak of Gershon Barova, whose latest... His latest hit album, entitled Turn Around, has been embraced by his many fans worldwide. Lately, Gershon has been busy performing for variations and has entertained thousands in venues around the world. Please join me in welcoming a great talent to begin a great evening, Gershon Verova! Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. A little further back than a couple of years ago, I was privileged enough to be reunited with another friend to make an album that worked so well, we're now working on the third one. Variations has now reached uh, popularity to Israel and South Africa, and we're not done by a long shot. Please welcome my partner at Variations, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Harold Krupner.
all I wanted, maybe more, but better late than never, they say. Now sink your teeth into a Torah shot, a toast post, or your daily blot. Get some holy food to feed your mind. Don't waste time on silly things, on Cadillacs and fancy rings. No designer thing you wear is gonna help you out upstairs. We've had it all with songs that say we're only living for today. It's time to sing the song of truth on the day the music lies. With my grandson on my knee 
He has the secret of longevity. I said the trick is sensitivity. You must judge every person favorably. Master the art of silence. The sound of silence. We probably have all heard about the dream team, the basketball team made up of uh, various players from various teams who under other circumstances may have been in each other's throats, but when working together can only accomplish victory. I like to think about the dream minion, made up of people from all sorts of walks of life, of Judaism and all sorts of stripes, coming together for just one purpose, redemption. Jewel in New Jersey that is one of a kind Where ten people come and dive in every day What makes it so special are the people inside Their backgrounds and the way in which they pray Now Sonny is a Yankee, he's from Washington Heights Saul graduated from Wadiou Then she shines a smarty, he's pretty unique Cause he can dive in like an Ashkenazi Shia wears a peckish she you see. Mindy is originally from Brown Heights, say yes, of course he dominates the safari. Oh yes, what a mess, Abraphonis. How could such a minion survive? Boy, they smear, boy, get found, what they saw this. What will keep this minion alive?
routine is beautiful and it's mine.
Administrator for Jewish Hospice of Greater New York, Abby Gordon. Executive Director and Chief Development Officer of Metropolitan Jewish Geriatric Foundation and Foundation staff for their incredible support, led by Norman Gilbin. <laughs> Producers of tonight's event, Sookie and Dane. And the entire staff at Lincoln Center from Alice Tully Hall. Thank you. And finally, thanks to all of you for your attendance and your show of support tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure that I introduce tonight's featured performer. <coughs> Although, he doesn't really think of himself as a performer. In fact, we are more used to him as a brilliant composer, a multi-talented musician, a person who has the unique ability to create, arrange, and present some of the most beautiful <coughs> Jewish music songs we've enjoyed for decades. It is a rare treat to have him featured on any stage, and therefore tonight, Jewish Hospice and all of us are very, very lucky to have him here. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the one and only A.B. Rottenberg. Indeed, why are the Jewish people so devoted and caring to one another? The answer is rooted in our faith, our faith in the Almighty and our love of His Torah. The Torah which compels us to live a life of kindness and generosity. So we'll start our program tonight with a little song about faith. And I'd like to ask two very talented vocalists, very dear friends of mine to join me on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Doug Levine and Sean Simpson. Speeches that would ponder our existence. Religious 
Jewish Music Events, the Nagina Orchestra. And our conductor this evening really needs no introduction. I've had the pleasure of working with him on numerous occasions, numerous projects over the years, and I must say that he, as much as any vocalist or songwriter, has helped to shape and establish Jewish music as we know it today. Ladies and gentlemen, the very talented musician and arranger as well. Another one of the Rambach's principles of faith details our belief in the world to come. In the Sefer Gesher HaChayim, there is a beautiful parable that compares the difference between the womb in this world, to this world, and the next. The next song, Conversation in the Womb, is based on that martial It was recorded back in 1984 on the first Journey's album. I should mention that a short time before that, someone had given me a copy of an album produced by NCSY called The Toler Connection. There was one voice on the recording that I had never heard before. I thought it was particularly beautiful. I called the NCSY office. They gave me the person's number. In fact, we did that to let together on the Journey's album. That person, ladies and gentlemen, was and is Bill Levine. Dear brother, look around and tell folks to your eyes. Don't deny that you see it's only you and me without a rhyme or reason to our lives. Without a rhyme or reason to our lives. But dear brother, must have faith that we are not the only ones. Cause in the distance there's a place where we'll stand up tall and straight. Oh, I believe that there is a world to come. Yes, I believe that there is a world to come. My dear brother, be blind, don't be stubborn, don't be set. Imagination, it's all right, but it won't light up the night. What you see is exactly what you get. What you see is exactly what you get. But dear brother, you will surely find when all That the future it will show There is so much we don't know Oh, I believe that there is a world to come Yes, I believe that there is a world to come Oh, I believe that 
there is a world to come. Yes, I believe that there is a world to come. Cause what you hear are sounds of joy. Congratulations, it's a boy. Soon you'll be here with me in this world.
Yeah, it's some forfeit cry the other team. You only got eight guys. No, we don't. The big boy said, much to our surprise. Since I am their Rebbe, the fair thing it would seem. Let me be the ninth man, ninth man of the team. Well, Rebbe went and picked up the bat and faced the pitcher with a smile. And he knocked the cover off that wall and went about half a mile. He flew around the bases. He scored the winning run. And we danced and cheered until he said, Now, boys, you owe me one. <laughs> Then he started teaching, and his voice it could be heard. We all say, hey, it's interesting. Man, he is no bore. The legendary East Side Bums were gone forevermore. Ready is to teach a trick for a trick for a Watch our TV sets, ah, we talk about Rashi and the Tosifus. So, uh, we have a sequel to The Ninth Man. We're yeah, working on it. We're working on it. We got, we got one verse and one chorus. <laughs> so, I'm going to just give it to A.B. a little bit. Can you tell what it looks like? People always ask, you know, whatever happened to those guys back in 1965. About 35 years ago. Yeah. I'm sure you all remember us, the from the east side. Now we live in Lakewood, though we're pushing 45. We each have lots of children, loads of bills to pay. No one's into baseball. What we do is learn from our old days. Ready to teach us to write each and every day. Virtuous and wise, but one thing is for certain, you we don't get no exercise. <laughs> This past week was the fifth yard site, the greatest Jewish composer of our time. after World War II with a musical style that was new, yet it was rooted in the liturgy and melodies of Hasidic Europe. His music was never just entertainment. It was a means to elevate, to bring it closer to their maker. For this alone, we miss him so very much. Thankfully, we have his music more popular today than ever. And he left us countless melodies to remember and to treasure. Ladies and gentlemen, with the help of Dove and Schleimi, this is our tribute to Schleimi Paul. People think, people say, that the saddest thing in life is when someone passes on and leaves this world. But let me tell you, let me tell you, that the saddest thing in life is when someone leaves this world and leaves nothing behind. But you have shalom, You left us all, all of Klai Yisrael, with a legacy, a small piece of your precious soul. You left us with the gift of your song. 
Not for all our love for wealth, only to bring us closer, to bring your brothers, sisters, and children closer to the master of the world. Oh, yeah. we 
have the pleasure and honor of serving in the Jewish community as the Vice President of the Jewish Community Relations Council of New York. I'm also the Senior Vice President of the American Jewish Congress. Lester and I serve on our temple boards in Queens, and as you all are participating and active members of the Jewish community, you serve in many roles. Some of those roles are quite important, others are given to you as honors. If you're a member of the temple, you serve on their boards, and you serve on the various committees. Many people fight for the head of the Education Committee, the Ways and Means Committee, or the Brotherhood or Sisterhood or other committees. But it's the caring committee of most of the temples and organizations in New York City that are the ones that don't get the recognition they deserve, that don't get the attention, but those people that serve on the caring committees serve a great deal of purpose and they're needed and they should be recognized. And tonight we're recognizing probably what I would like to call is the caring committee of New York and that's the Jewish hospice. And we have a great deal of thanks to them very much. Their staff is wonderful, headed up by Norman Gilden, headed up by Mary. And those of you that have been asked to chair events, it could be a dinner, it could be any event in your community, you know that when you're asked to do something, some people say, well, hand me the list. Well, these gentlemen and the Jewish hospice goes beyond that. They don't just ask for that, they get you involved, and it's a pleasure to be involved. And it's a better pleasure and I give you a great deal of satisfaction to know that you're dealing with so many people that have a great deal of dedication and professionalism. And Lester and I and others hope to be back next year for concert number three. Welcome, everybody. The following uh, people, please come out and be recognized. Abby Gordon, Administrator. <laughs> Vice President. <laughs> and Harold Barron, Chairman, Jewish Office. Thank you all. Since taking over the hospital, which was formerly known as Booth Memorial, New York Hospital Medical Center of Queens has catered to the needs of the Jewish community in a manner probably unmatched by any other medical institution. In just a few years, New York Hospital Queens has engaged a full-time rabbi as a chaplain, has constructed a complete synagogue on its premises, has erected and maintained an era which connects with the Arabin of adjacent communities. It has contracted for catered kosher food for its patients and its guests. It has developed an in-service program and a required course for its staff on the special needs and requirements of Jewish patients. And it has provided free of charge two apartments for use of relatives of patients who stay over on Shabbos or Yanku. In addition, the hospital also hosts meetings of our hospice advisory committee. It is for this reason and for these reasons and in recognition of these efforts that we honor tonight Stephen S. Mills, the president and CEO of the New York Hospital Medical Center of Queens. Distinguished Community Service Award presented with deepest gratitude to Stephen S. Mills, President and Chief Executive Officer, the New York Hospital Medical Center of Queens. In recognition of your outstanding service, your civic-minded concerns, and your great humanity, it is with pride that we acknowledge your abiding commitment to excellence and your distinguished and highly respected leadership in our community. Your ongoing support of the Jewish Hospice of Greater New York helps meet the specialized needs of terminally ill patients and their families. Signed, the Jewish Hospice of Greater New York, Harold Barron, Chairman, Community Advisory Board, and Abby Gordon, Administrator. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you.
Good evening. I'm thrilled to receive this award. It's a wonderful concert and a wonderful night for a great cause. I'd like to present my sincere thanks and congratulations to everyone responsible for organizing this benefit concert for, what, for such a worthwhile organization as the Jewish Hospice. Special thanks to Mike Nussbaum, the associate publisher of New Communications, who is chairman of tonight's benefit concert, work hard to bring us all together for this important cause. In February of 1998, the Hospice of Greater New York and the Jewish Hospice of Greater New York teamed with the New York Hospital of Queens to provide patient crisis and respite care to people who are in the final stages of life. It was a responsibility that we gladly accepted. Hospice is essentially a home care program based on the philosophy of managing the physical, emotional, and spiritual needs of terminally ill patients and their families in the comfort of their own home. The structure of the hospice program provides a continuum of care that is reassuring and comforting to individuals and their families who are confronting and learning how to accept and manage the end stages of life. The New York Hospital of Queens is very privileged to offer the sensitive and emotionally demanding hospital-based care that is sometimes required by hospice patients during difficult periods of their illness. A strong emphasis is placed on relieving pain to ensure that a patient's quality of life is maintained and enhanced if possible. Our hospice team is made up of individuals who provide comprehensive services to meet the needs of families facing the overwhelming issues related to life-limiting illness. Tonight, we come together to enjoy this magnificent musical program, an emblem of support for the great work of the Jewish Hospice of Greater New York. The caregivers of the hospice will, with this generosity of your financial and spiritual giving, continue the work of caring for others at their time of greatest need. I and the entire staff of New York Hospital of Queens will continue to strengthen that care partnership to assist those in need in the borough of Queens. Many of members of my staff are here tonight, and I thank particularly uh, Rabbi Keen and Ken Haber and Pat Lewis. <laughs> spend inordinate time and will continue to do so to help bring better, continuous care at all levels to the people of the borough of Queens. Thank you all so very much. Hey, just saw Heshi Barron up here. We want to wish uh, Donnie Barron and Esty Helmreich a lot of love. Please welcome the Executive Director and Chief Development Officer of the Metropolitan Jewish Geriatric Foundation, Norman B. Gilden. Good evening and welcome. I would like Ladies and gentlemen, accompanied by the brilliant Yisrael Lamb and the Nagino Orchestra, it's a great pleasure that I again present and ask you to welcome A.B. Rottenberg and Fred. See that person in the back of the base measure in the corner? He's also looking for a chabrusa, and I think it'll be a perfect shidduch, two of you. Truth is, it was a perfect shidduch. 
not because we learned much, <laughs> but because a little over a year later, Label Sharpton and I had recorded the first famous album. With Label. <laughs> Here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yossi Sonnenblick. Oh, 
Hasada. How hard we have to shtag in Hachana for a show like this. What do you say? I rather think they have a pretty good idea, though. The Nafkamina being that they feel that they got good chavias for their tickets. <laughs> What's your tvis on this, Amy? My tvis uh, is if you guys keep talking like this, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> It takes a special talent, is not for faint of heart. And most are due to failure before they even start. But in the hallowed halls, a yeshiva spot and wide, our human have discovered a way to realize. With Yiddish, English, Hebrew, it's a mystery of all three. And in fact, of animation, a linguistic company that's called Yeshiva Shirei. Yeshiva Shishbak I can this crowd and look at all the kids up It's called Yeshiva Shirei Yeshiva Shishbak It's the tone of the town Manish Tadunah What's the Kiddush? You're just talking What a show is not to blow That's going this What did I fall? I can hear it spells out more it's a Shiloh Matsmanaya, the whole Sukhya is no Shmer. The Pokula might be here, but the Kalos is over there. Yeshiva Shireh, Yeshiva Shishma. I'm a pair of pair of pair of pair of Shishma. It's called Yeshiva Shireh, Yeshiva Shishma. It's the tongue of the town. It's essential, it's Hashim, it's his events. Why without it? Think your mother with a way to make no sense. So listen close, Yeshiva guys. It's the I think to do be marvelous this great language to all our fellow Jews. And let me offer you an answer that will lend a serenade. Why not print the dictionary that translates Yeshiva Shere, Yeshiva Shishma. I'm 
was made way back in 1842 by a humble man, a real God fearing Jew, who did his work with honesty, with feeling, and with pride. He was known in Kiev as Yankala the scribe. With love and care, his hand so sure and still. He formed me with some parchment, ink, and quill. Each day he slowly add to me just a few more lines with words to last till the end of time. On the day that I was finally complete, the whole town came and filled the narrow street. And they sang and danced and held me high as they carried me away to the little wooden shoe where I would stay. As the rabbi held me close against his chest, he spoke out loud and clear to all the rest. He said, no matter if you're very young or even if you're old, live by the words you'll find inside this scroll. Some old 
friends of mine who live back in Pierre. The silver pair of candlesticks, a menorah made of brass, we'd all become mere echoes of the past. So if you hear my voice, why don't you come along and take me to the place where I belong and maybe even sing and dance as you carry me away to some little wooden shoe where I could stay and as the rabbi Against his chest, he'll speak out loud and clear to all the rest. He'll say, No matter if you're very young, or even if you live by the words you'll find inside this scroll. You'll find inside my soul.
time of events in the life of my friend. He became Rosh Yeshiva of our old school and now was a leader of men. But there was a fire that ravaged his school. Oh, I knew it just might break his heart. So I reached in my drawer and I said my goodbyes to the great Joe DiMaggio's car. One day my grandson came home from yeshiva holding a car that was new. Look, Zaydi Reb Shmuel is one of the toilet and I am giving his car to you. I lovingly hid it deep inside my drawer where it would be safe as can be. And I vowed I would keep it forever and ever. It is so precious to me. It is so very precious to me. Together, let's raise our 
helped to pull us through. And all we ask for is one more miracle. One last long awaited miracle. And all we need to make our dreams come true. Oh.
time with your family. Study and you pray. When I wait till I have to shop it.